Okay, I want to take a minute and go over the basic beginning stitches. Um, the first thing that I want to go over is the chain. The chain you're going to use at least one or two on everything that you do. <coughs> um, so first thing is getting it on your hook. Um, I have been doing this for a long time. I tend to just lay it over my hook and then kind of wrap my hook around. It gives me this little twist here and then I just pull it through and then pull it tight and that gives me the adjustability that I may need later on. Um, <clears throat> makes it a little bit easier. Now with the chain, you don't want to do it too loose or too tight. Um, I know it looks like I have my yarn tight, but it really mm -hmm. it, it, it isn't. Um, this is just to make sure that it doesn't go too far, too, too fast. Um, and you'll find that you have your own comfortable way of doing it. I've been doing this for about 23 years now, so um, my way may not necessarily be what's best for you. I have a tendency to just kind of let it run through my pinky and over my finger so that it's out of my way and, and it's giving me the desired tautness that I'm looking for. So what you're going to do is just kind of pull it through loop after loop um, and basically you're going to let your hook dictate the size of your hoop. Um, it, it makes it a little bit easier. That way you have more of a regularly sized chain. You know, you're going to have a couple of little hiccups here and there, but in the end it's about the same size all along. Um, the more you do these, the better you'll get. Um, I have a tendency to have people start out doing the chain. Um, one girl I, I taught uh, about 10 years ago now had a chain that was about 24 feet long before she felt comfortable enough to move on. Um, basically your chain, you just don't want it too tight or too loose. Um, it's going to be the foundation of whatever you do, so you want to make sure that you're comfortable with this first and foremost. 